All right, today we're doing a little bit of wheel stud playing. If you should see, move from this angle, the one wheel stud is way shorter than the others. Um, and during the winter, when I put my winter wheels back on, this one actually threaded itself in. Um, I turned them around by hand a bit, apparently not enough. So uh, when I actually applied power to the car, snapped that right off the inside. These wheel studs are threaded all the way. Um, I've been able to use use it for just a tiny bit here because it's threaded all the way and it's actually locked in there from this braking. So, but uh, I seen something on the other weekend. And uh, watching something like that, you tend to go, hey, maybe I should check my car out a little bit. So, I'm replacing my wheel studs because I got this one. I bought uh, Moroso half inch wheel studs, nice and long. And I go in place of these ones. So that's what I'm doing today. So because I have the C-clip eliminators in here, I have to undo all four bolts at the back. I've already got one out. Take the other three out and then I can pull the axle out change the wheel studs because being this long they're uh, gonna go back there a little bit so I'm gonna pull the wheel stud the axles out to change the wheel studs so that's what I'm gonna do today so I'm gonna finish pulling those other three bolts out of the C-clip eliminator and uh, we'll all right we removed the four bolts yeah uh, put the slide hammer on the end of the studs a couple little smacks part she comes came out in two pieces like this you can see now the damage that the wheel stud caused Thankfully, it's all just on the outside here. The drum didn't get damaged at all with that piece in there because I just never really going fast enough during the winter and stuff. So, I'm uh, going to clean this up a little bit just so I don't have sharp edges. Studs all have uh, bolt heads on the back, which is real nice, except for that one, which I will just thread out by hand or figure something out. And we will bolt those ones back in. So, pretty easy job, not a lot to it, but uh, you know what they say, what I've been saying a lot throughout my videos, better safe than sorry, so that's what we're doing, that's what I'm doing, making sure I'm safe and uh, everybody beside me, so I will change these studs real quick and put this back together, I'll clean the seat surfaces up here, use some uh, RTV silicone, um, I like to use the right stuff. It's called the right stuff for a reason. That stuff works really great. So we're gonna do that. Uh, show you something if I need to in a little bit. These bolts, really easy to take out. I just gave myself a lot of length here. Put the impact on them, spun them out real quick. This one, pretty easy too. Once I got all the other studs out of the way, I just spin it with a vice grip, got them right out. Okay, so, um, little lesson for you guys that uh, I just learned the hard way. Moroso does not sell these hardened studs with their, or hardened washers with their wheel studs. You need these, otherwise you could wreck threads in the axle. I destroyed a couple of studs and I had to re-thread my axle. So uh, if you don't have them, get them. Um, my strange my strange studs that I just took out had them, so I reused those ones. Um, so there's something for you. Just a, just a little FYI. Um, yeah, it's kind of a piss off. I had to re-thread a couple of things. Thankfully, it just basically galled up the threads, and I just had to clean them out with my tap, and then we're good to go again. So you also don't get a torque spec with these. So I put red light Loctite on them, and I hammered them in with the impact a little bit. They are tight. The red Loctite will lock them in there even better, and they won't come out. So, that that's something you guys need to know. I, I looked on the internet for quite a while, um, Rosso's website, stuff like that. I could not find the torque spec. So there you go. And then I clean this up. We're going to put a little bit of silicone back on here. Um, all the bolts that I took out of these are actually grade 5 bolts. So I'm throwing them in the garbage, and I'm going to replace them with grade 8. That's just something I do. I don't like seeing grade 5 bolts on a car anywhere. So I throw them in the garbage and I get grade 8 bolts and put them in. 
So we're gonna do a little bit of silicone, some grade eight bolts, tighten these up, and then this side's done, move on to the next side. All right, so I'm just gonna do that by myself. Uh, you guys don't need to follow along because you already seen it once. All right, so we'll catch you guys later.